Hello boys, how are we? Um, I know last week I promised sort of summer review, uh, basically, but to be honest, I thought, on reflection, probably a little bit boring. I can't imagine most of you are particularly interested in exactly what I did day in, day out over the summer. So instead I sort of wanted to more talk about my feelings on how I've used the time. Um, and although obviously this is specific to me, this is maybe something that can help you guys start to reflect on on sort of how you how you use your time in general, how you use it in relation to, to summer or studying or work or social life or, or whatever and, and how you can maybe start to make the most of your time when it comes to things like that. Now, this is so key to myself because I had so many plans and sort of goals and things like that at the start of summer uh, that I wanted to, to work towards. Um, things, I was, everything from sort of social life, work, um, university and things like that. Um, sort of I wanted to, certainly I've got rugby fields at the end of my road so I certainly wanted to sort of get down there and do a bit of kicking practice. Um, I'd sort of found quite a lot in terms of um, prep for uni and and some more sort of extra reading I can do on the psychology subjects that I'm I'm studying and things like that. Yeah, linking on to the social side obviously with the job that I've got on um, I'm in I'm in London one day a week in the offices so yeah that was something that I sort of wanted to make the most of in terms of planning things things around that and and also sort of expanding the channel and really sort of starting to put some time into it. Ironically in a video <coughs> based a lot around Planning and preparation, uh, yeah, got to my filming spot, which as you guys know is about half an hour walk. Yeah, filmed for about two minutes and the camera died. So I obviously hadn't put the uh, put the battery on charge, which is brilliant. But yeah, look, as I uh, managed to obviously come back home, start filming, it's a little bit late now, so I should still get this out on Monday, but it uh, might be a little bit close to midnight. But yeah, um, look, as I was saying, um, sort of in terms of what I, what I planned and everything like that, in terms of, yeah, doing some extra research, getting ahead of the game for, for my psychology degree and getting down to the park and sort of getting a bit of early season practicing in terms of kicking and training and everything like that with, with rugby and sort of some, some extra skills on top of that. A huge thing that was sort of a goal for me for this summer was um, finding a life coaching qualification to do um, and that was something I, I was actually hoping to complete that over summer um, and have that for when I go back to uni and potentially sort of set up a little something to earn me some money o over the next couple of years but um, yeah in terms of those sort of goals I, I, I just didn't get organised just didn't get prepared enough um, and sort of yeah got back from got back from the, the wedding in Marbella which believe it or not was sort of three months ago but feel, feels like sort of a week ago and yeah, I just I just got arrogant, got didn't plan enough, got back from the wedding and all of a sudden it was straight back to work and all of a sudden twelve weeks or nine weeks have just have just gone by and, and I've completely completely missed the missed the boat in terms of getting that stuff done over summer, which look is frustrating. Um it's it's stuff that I had planned and it was stuff that I, I really wanted to get done, but it's it's not sort of a make or break and I, I know I know I sort of, uh, I know I think I net titled the video something ridiculous like did I ruin summer or did I miss summer, I, don't, I can't remember exactly what it was but yeah, they're things that aren't ideal but look, there were also some positives. Yeah, so with there sort of being some positives and things like that, from pretty much the start of June since since before, it was pretty much since I got back from Manchester at the end of May, I was incredibly consistent. Um, with the gym and with my diet right literally right up until sort of the last couple of weeks I've, I've mentioned to you guys sort of I've been a bit under the weather and I've gone to the gym but sort of hasn't been as, as consistent as I'd like to be I'm going to try and get back on that now sort of and, and do a little bit more prep going back to uni um, but yeah that, that's been really good and I, I certainly noticed the, the difference in how I felt and sort of how I was looking and things like that um, on the work side of things I've worked loads of worked pretty much every day every week um for for the for the whole of summer and because of that i've, I've earned very well and, and saved up saved up quite a lot in terms of in relation to to being sort of a university student which might mean that i i don't necessarily have to work straight away when i get back to uni and i can maybe sort of take a couple months off and focus on this focus on some some other things as well and, and sort of yeah take some time off maybe before before christmas 
in addition to that, something that was a huge goal this summer and that I feel I've com uh, completed or, or sort of hit in terms of the goal was was the channel. Um, I definitely feel like the quality's upped. Um, obviously, apart from again the last couple of weeks, where I've been a little bit sloppy. Sort of the um, the preparation, everything's been there. I've invested a little bit more in terms of sort of the camera, the um, the software and stuff like that that I make these videos with. Um, I've put a little bit of put a little bit of money into that, and and that sort of certainly helped the feedback i've been getting has been a lot better i've sort of my subscribers obviously still very low compared to what i want but they've gone up probably over summer more than in, in this sort of like yeah couple months eight weeks or nine weeks or so they've probably gone up more in that time they had in the in the previous year or whatever that i'd that i'd had the channel um which is obviously absolutely amazing and brilliant and that hopefully means that maybe more people are seeing the videos and as more people see the videos um yeah the subscribers the views have certainly gone up um the views were certainly way better than they were sort of yeah like even sort of three four months ago um they, they've 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 really improved which is which is nice because i do i know it doesn't always look like it but i do i do put a lot of time um into these videos and everything like that and then in terms of sort of preparation and, and everything like that i've done a lot in terms of organizing with my with my room and stuff like that another huge goal for this summer was really sort of be ruthless and, and clear out a lot of the clothes that i had just because I can't remember if I was sort of speaking about it when I moved back from uni, but I could I could literally barely fit everything I had in in my room because my room here was full, my room at uni was full as well, and I had to bring it all back here and sort of I I think I aimed for sort of two bin bags full of clothes per month, and I'm sort of getting there with that. Um, I don't haven't really I bought a couple of new things, but basically the whole year I've sort of been on a shopping ban, but sort of over summer I've been really good with that. And yeah, so there have certainly been some positives on that side of things as well. Finally, sort of on the positive side, um, I've found a lot more in terms of YouTube channels that I can sort of maybe take from in terms of inspiration and, and not only inspiration for my own channel, but I've uh, come across a lot of channels that sort of help with setting up your own private practices as a therapist and, and performance coaching and things like that. So I had things that are going to help me once I've graduated and got my degree and the businesses that I'm going to set up after that. So look, I, I, I as I said earlier, I know I titled it something ridiculous like, <clears throat> did I waste my summer or whatever? No, I didn't. Um, I've, I've had overall, I've had a great time. Um, it's been lovely sort of being living back here, living, sort of spending time with my family and my brother, I've seen a lot more of my friends than I normally do because obviously none of them live at uni with me. But yeah, um, overall it's, it's I've enjoyed it but it probably hasn't been exactly what I wanted it to be. So to sort of do, I guess, a kind of conclusion, I'd say if it was sort of a takeaway message or whatever, is I probably, in a way, I probably aim too high in relation to the preparation that I'd done. So obviously I'd always tell you guys to shoot for the stars and with everything you do and set set sort of expansive goals and, and stretch targets and things like that. But the preparation has to has to match what you set. There's no point in me saying, right, I'm gonna do all these social events over summer, I'm gonna get in amazing shape over summer, I'm gonna sort of do all this extra study and I'm gonna do all these skills and learn these courses over summer. That's amazing goals to have, but then I'd done absolutely no preparation for it. Like really, if I wanted to do this life coaching thing, I should have found the course that I wanted to do before summer even happened and I could have had it applied for it and then been studying it over summer with <clears throat> all the social stuff I did. I, I went, I mentioned the other week, I went to Wimbledon, that was literally it. Apart from that, I pretty much had no social events and sort of living in London to go the whole summer without going to any social events is pretty embarrassing um, and I only got into I only got into Wimbledon as I mentioned just out of pure luck basically they still had some still had some tickets on the door and um, what what I, and this thing as I've mentioned the last couple of weeks has really helped me um, it's certainly helping with the videos in terms of being able to script them out a little bit more and and not missing off sort of points that I wanted to make but yeah something that i'd say to you guys i've said it loads of times is lists r physically writing down i i don't think it's the same on your phone because we're so used to just typing text and stuff like that i think when you're actually writing something by hand it's so much more likely to stick in your brain but also sort of write down the lists of what you want to achieve but also you want to be writing down detailed ways that you're going to achieve it you don't just like it's all well and good just sort of saying like i mentioned sort of oh yeah i want to study this 
I want to get in this shape or I want to lose this much weight. But, but then you've also got to write down the act, the plan of actions that you're going to do to get to get to that as well. And that's that's sort of what, what I missed out on this summer. It's sort of I had all these grand ideas of, of what things were, were going to be like. And yeah, I just I got overconfident. I got arrogant and I was like, yeah, well, it would just sort of fall into place. And the reality is things don't just fall into place. They things happen when you're very deliberate and you plan them out. Look, I'll leave it there. I don't want to go in circles. Um, thank you for making it all the way to the end. I hope uh, the point that I was trying to make did get across. Uh, if you do enjoy any of these, do consider it liking and subscribing. As always, comment any other advice or any other comments or suggestions you have below. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, lads.